Hey folks, got a uh, Kawasaki V-Twin, it's uh, garden tractor related, guy I do cylinders for occasionally, uh, he's a John Deere mechanic, so I'm sure that's what this came out of, was a John Deere, don't know for sure, I'm just boring it, and honing, uh, this cylinder is ready to go, I'm using my headlight to aid, because it's got such a weird uh, casting, it shades everything. Uh, this side is bored and honed. So I've got a torque plate. I make my own torque plates. Generally, um, they're anywhere from half inch to five eighths. This is like five eighths thick. Just hot roll steel. Uh, the casting is so light on these that I prefer to use torque plates. I'm not sure if uh, the manufacturer recommends a torque plate when you oversize or not but i believe in it because the casting is so light you know the cast iron sleeve is integral in other words they put those cast iron sleeves in the mold and make the block around them they're not pressed in um i think anything that's got a light duty casting like this is good to have a torque plate for so you can see my setup um try and get it with my headlight here all it is is a bridge port style clamping i made my own t-nuts because this is a different that's a three eighths um fastener that goes down in the t-nut and same on this side this is the actual stud there so basically uh I'll bore this side of it as well, pull it off and hone it with the torque plate still on. That's how I did the other cylinder, and this one will be finished. So let's start it now and see how she goes, how she starts. Yeah, the material's peeling out real light in this one. That, the other cylinder, I had a different cutting tool in there. And it was super noisy and didn't cut as nice, so this one's looking a lot better. Um, typically, these will wear pretty heavy uh, from the, basically from the quarter inch of the top of the cylinder down to about right here. You'll hear it probably start missing the cut soon. Right now it's cutting all the way around. I centered it off of the bottom of the bore. There's no wear on the bottom of the bore. That's one of the reasons. Um, you know, the rings don't make it that far, so typically the bottom of the cylinder of any engine doesn't wear, unless you have a catastrophic failure somewhere. Uh, you're getting that right there, it's starting to shadow. You can hear it more so that now you can start to see it. Let's see if I can get it. Yep. And that's typical. That's where these uh, blocks will wear. So, uh, that's kind of opposite of the thrust. So it's suspect to maybe it was, you know, sucking a lot of dirt through the air cleaner. Maybe it was a binding issue. I would almost think it had to be a binding issue from the connecting rod because it was sucking a lot of dirt, it would be worn on the thrust side, opposite of where that is. In other words, on, on this side and that side of the bore, that's not considered thrust. So that's a little more interesting, I guess. Usually it's a little more towards the thrust side where it's worn, but either way, that will clean up. We have 50 hundredths of a millimeter to go. Um, not quite. Be 40, like 40 hundredths of a millimeter. 50 hundredths oversized, and I do about five thousandths, maybe a little more per cut. And that's as, as heavy as I go on this small boring bar. So we'll finish up this block, uh, bore maybe four more passes, take it off. I have a stand hone. A sun and stand hone with a AN600 head, and we'll plateau hone it, which means honing on the. Yeah, you can really hear 
really hear it now. A lot of wear on, on that one side. Uh, plateau honing is the hone with uh, basically a 45 stone, a J45, and then go to a J65 for the last couple tenths. And these will have about two and a half thousand piston clearance. So this is 70, uh, 74 and a half millimeter bore, I think, on this one. Yeah. So it shows you the setup on a, a B twin anyway. If you've got a, a PMS <laughs> precision manufacturing and sales boring machine, that's a pretty sturdy setup there. I don't have any troubles with the cylinder moving, the block moving, and of course uh, with that torque plate, everything bores and hones like it should, mimicking having a cylinder head on there. So when you torque the cylinder head back on, uh, it should make everything round, more or less. Uh, if you don't do it with a torque plate, uh, I would be suspect to the block pulling and maybe not having a round hole when you torque the head back on if you machine it without a torque plate. So that's my advice. Stay tuned.